Okay, today we're working on an iPad Pro 10.5 where the charge port's been heavily damaged. As you can see, it's not pulling any amps, so we're going to have to open it up and see what's going on. So with the back of the port exposed, what I like to do is flood all the pins with a low melt solder and then with the hot air gun, it can come off nice and easy. Then I'll put some more low melt on all the pads so it's ready to receive the new port. Take extra care with the alignment, making sure all the pins are aligned and then flood it again with solder. It's that simple. So we'll just quickly rebuild it and quickly give it a test to see if it was just the port. Okay, so it's still not pulling any amps and according to the TriStar tester, the charging chip has also failed. So what we're gonna do is just replace that as well. So what I like to do here is obviously just disconnect the battery and I'll cut a little hole in the shield exposing the charging chip. And now it's nice and easy to just quickly take that off with a little bit of heat, clean up the old solder balls and drop in a new chip. So we'll try it with the tester again and everything's passed, the port and the chip. So now with the battery back connected, we'll plug in a charger and now it's pulling a very healthy draw. So I'll just quickly put the screen back on, make sure we've got the charging icon and we have a boot. Jobs are good and 